Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So I'm clean face today. Well, I do have foundation and powder on and primed because just in case I decide I want to try some of these things while on camera and I probably will. We're a little crooked. So Wet n Wild has a new collab. It's uh, with Sesame Street, which I don't necessarily get because Sesame Street is a children's show, but then I get it because of how colorful it is and how it's nostalgic for a lot of people. So I guess I kind of get it, I don't know. But anyway, so I have some items from the collection. And you know, I don't ever get the whole collection of something. I only get the things that appeal to me or things that I think I'll use regularly or use enough to warrant buying it. So I got the palette, which I think I'll use it in my fun looks, but I wouldn't use it in my everyday makeup looks. But this is the palette. It's 15 colors. Um, it's pretty, but I don't know how much I would actually use it day to day. But we're gonna open this and take a look at it. But first, let's get through the rest of these. I got, I've got the Wet n Wild Om Nom Nom. I love the Cookie Monster, by the way. Three piece multi-stick set right here. It looks like there's a beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful Cookie Monster Blue and a couple different shades of brown. I'm looking to see if it tells you the numbers. I mean, not the numbers, <laughs> the colors. Not so much, but anyway, got this. And I, I love the multi-sticks because you can use them as, you know, for eyeshadow and blend it out. You can use them for eyeliner. Um, you can use them um, for your brows and uh, depending on the shade, you can use it for a lip color and even cheek color. I've used the multi-sticks in, 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 in very many, in a lot of different colors and I've used them for a lot of different things. So they are, like I wouldn't, you know, those browns might be able to be used for uh, helping with contour, I don't know, but, um, but that blue could be an eye color, lip color, eyeliner, you know, lip color if you would wear blue. Um, and great for the makeup looks I like to do. And then we've got the lip mask and lip scrub. So we've got the Save the Day, oh, it's, it's Grover, Save the Day Wet n Wild Lip Mask right here. And we've got Me Love Cookie Lip Scrub right here. And then we also got the, we also got, have the B is for banana. It's banana powder with Big Bird on it. And then we've got two lip colors. We've got um, oh, they're really tiny. I can't make out these colors. <laughs> I think it says giggles and be kind, but one is kind of like a orangey red and one is this little pinkish hue. And then we've got the Let's Play Together Complexion Trio um, in bronzy colors and there's a highlight. And then we've got the, uh, oh, it says right here, it's two bronzers and a highlighter. And then the Complexion Trio right here is two blushes and a highlighter right here. So. Let's get this stuff opened up and try it out. Um, pew, pew, pew. So I've been watching the Connors finally. Um, I found Roseanne season 10, the episodes that are available to watch. And I watched all of them and I've seen season four and season five up to the most recent episode, but I wanna see the rest of the Connors. Um, I forgot how much I like that show, you know? Or how much I like Roseanne. I'd like to go back and just watch Roseanne all over again. And I can do that with Peacock, so. And, cause you know, I've been re-watching a lot of shows that 
I watch and I, I rewatch. Whenever I, I have nothing to watch, I rewatch um, The Handmaid's Tale. I cannot get this bitch open. Sorry, that wasn't very Sesame Street of me. Oh my God. Okay, so here are the colors. <laughs> we've got, it looks like we've got a couple mattes, we've got some glitters, we've got some shimmers. So, oh, I don't wanna touch the ones that have their little faces pressed into them. Because here we have Elmo, and here we have Cookie, and Oscar the Grouch. I'm a big bird, I love them. And, I don't know what that is right there. And then it says Sesame Street over here. One, two, three, Sesame Street. So let's let's just dive right in. Let's create an eye look. I'm gonna open a new thing of cheap, cheap, cheap brushes. Let's see how much this challenges me. So they sell these brushes at five below and for $5 for a little set. They sell two different sets. They sell this set, which is a face kit, and then they sell one that's all eyes. Um, and by the way, they do have a Sesame Street brush set also. Um, I think it's a four piece set. But anyway, for five below, for five dollars, these brushes are wonderful. And I stand by that. So we'll, we'll start with this nice fluffy brush. See, look at it, they're adorable. They're just the right weight. Eh, they could be a little heavier, I think. But let's, uh, Brian's in here, I think. Oh no, Tina's in here. So let's do an eye look. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know where to start. I think I think we'll start with a mat. We'll start with this right here. A lot of orange in that. Okay, now we're gonna go maybe try this one. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. And I think I like this shade, so I'm just gonna go brush over that first shade and blend it into that because that first shade just is too orangey on my skin, which is often my problem with a lot of browns is although I like browns, they te do tend to look orange on my skin. 
I said the yellow in my skin. Okay. There, I think I like that. And then let's get let's get crazy. Let's get daring and go in with this this pink right here. It's pink. It's glossy. Not glossy. What's the word I'm looking for? Y'all know what I mean. There's a co color very similar to this in my Maddie Ziegler palette that I love. And then of course we'll we'll swatch the palette, which normally I would have done already, but I wasn't thinking. You know, I'm not like a fan of Ariana Grande. I think she has a beautiful singing voice and I think she's very pretty, but I you know, I have nothing against her appearance. It's just not my music. But oh, the fallout though. or some fallout on this side, huh? Mm -hmm. I can do something about that. Well, we'll try this. Okay, there was a lot of fallout with that pink shade. it work for us. I don't know that I love it. I'm really tempted to use this orange right here, but that's a glitter. Foils! Foils! That's what it is. I'm going back in with this the first foil I used. Yeah, that's not working for me. So, oh, but anyway, I was talking about Ariana Grande. So, but I had tried one of her perfumes when I was at Ulta. Um, the REM, the REM, whatever it's called. And I loved it. And I bought it. <laughs> so it's really nice. Okay. I'm not in love with that eye look. Again, these aren't really colors for me. Let's see if I could just try to minimize it a little bit. So I don't have to completely start over. I just wiped away part of my eyebrow. Okay, so I'm going to just go in with this first color I used, or the second color I used, this one right here, and just do my eye with that. And we'll move on to the next product. Well, let's swatch. Let's swatch first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and swatch these, okay? So I'll start with the top row, the second row, and the third row. And we'll go from this side to this side, okay? This is like a gold, and then we've got this orange. Oh, that green, <gasps> that green is gorgeous. Look at that green, okay. And then Cookie Monster. Okay, you can't really see that gold too much, but there's the orange. And remember, this is on my arm that's not got any primer or anything on it. Now let's do that pink one. That green, though. I love that. That's gorgeous. 
Okay, now we'll do this middle row from here to here. Mm, that yellow is kind of clumpy. That glitter is beautiful. Look at that shift though. Yeah, they're not showing up that well. Oh, let's do this last color. This is the color that I put on my eyes last because like right there. Okay, now we'll do this bottom row from here to here. This bottom row is the most user friendly as far as the way I use makeup goes. I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed with this. Look at that green. The Oscar the Grouch one. Oh, they swatch nicely. And now let's do this last one, which is a brown. Now that last row swatches nicely. So I guess it's just a matter of using it right. But I'm really excited about these two greens. So I'm gonna try to do my eye in the green, even though I know I finished it with that kind of peach shimmer. We're just gonna go over it because I've already messed up my eyes. I may as well just have fun. I'm not going anywhere. It's after nine o'clock at night. I'm going to bed after this video is made. Well, I'm gonna take a bath, let the ducks take a bath, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So. I am making a mess though with that green, ain't I? But y'all know I'm not actually a makeup artist. I just do this for fun, like beauty makeup. I could do great monsters. And this is that other green. I was working on some attachments, like some appliances to do a beaker look. You know, beaker, me, 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 me. Cause I think I need to do a beaker. I think I could do a good beaker. Okay, fallout is definitely a thing, but you know, there are ways to work with fallout. Um, I've made oh, <sighs> I had eyeshadow on that finger and I just made a mess with it. Okay, now I'm going in with this gold and just tapping it right there. Yeah, this is definitely a playtime makeup. Now let's open, or you know, palette. Now let's open this. I wish there was a green multi stick. Boy, they really seal this shit up, don't they? Oh my god. Lordy. So here we go, we've got this gorgeous blue right here. Look at that. And then this one has cookies all over it. Right there. That'd be good for the brow, good eyeshadow. And we've got this, which looks like it's got a little metallic in it. So I think we'll use the blue. Okay. 
do an eyeliner since I already messed up my eyes anyway. We're just really doing it to see how it applies. And yeah, just like the multi sticks, it works fine. And then we've got, let's do the lip colors because we've got two lip colors. We've got this red and we've got this pinky one. And let's try the I should have just opened all of this before I even started the camera. Okay. So this is the red one. These lipsticks like this are not the best lipsticks in the world. My favorite Wet n Wild lip product was the uh, the matte um, liquid lipsticks. They still have some of the colors, but they don't really make them in new colors or anything. Or they don't have a wide array of colors. That's pretty. Not matte, but it's pretty. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna try this nice pink one. The reason I'm doing the pink after the red is because the pink one I think is the one I'm gonna probably keep on me. So this one had Elmo on it, and this one has Zoe. Zoe on it, I think that's Zoe, right? You know, when I was a kid and we were watching Sesame Street, Elmo wasn't like the big deal he is these days. It was all about Cookie Monster, Bert and Ernie, Big Bird, and Oscar the Grouch with us. I liked the count. It's real pretty. I like that one a lot. Now, let's open <laughs> the banana powder. Let's see what it is like. Peel here. Well, I sure am trying to. Okay. So it's just a nice, smooth. Uh, finishing powder. Oh, I just went a little nuts with it. Okay. Banana powder isn't something I use often, but it's usually because I just don't have any nearby. Now that redness you see under my eyes is from me rubbing. It's not from any stray makeup being on there. So, um, I like the feel of this lip color though, but it's not matte and it's not gonna be long wearing. So let's open these two complexion trios. So this one has Bert and Ernie on it and this one has Elmo and Big Bird.
So we have two bronzers and a highlighter here. So let's look at the bronzer. That's the darkest bronzer. And we'll just do some right up here. Just a little bit. I'm just probably tr just completely wiping it all away because, you know, I was just want to do it a little bit just to put it somewhere. <laughs> and then this is the lighter bronzer right here. Okay. And then let's do the highlighter. There's what the highlighter looks like. Okay, so we did that one. Um, and I'll do a review at the end of this, like just show you what it is and tell you how I feel about it. Except for the lip scrub and lip mask, because you know that's something I have to use and then determine if I like it. Okay, so this is the two blushes and highlighter. Hello, are you gonna is it open or okay? So Two different blushes on. I love this color right here. Obviously, I'd buff that out more if I was getting well. We'll just go ahead and buff it out anyway. Very cute, light, buildable. And then let's use this orange one, which I'm not excited about. I just made a mess of things. I should have just did a makeup look and <laughs> I don't care. I'm just having fun. Makeup should be fun. When it stops being fun, then, you know, I don't want any part of it anymore. Okay, so those were the two. Oh wait, we didn't got to do the highlighter still. Because the highlighter is a different shade. Let's put that right here. I actually like that highlighter better. It didn't seem like much was happening in the pan, but I think I like that highlighter better. And we'll go ahead and open the lip scrub and lip mask. This is the lip mask. Oh, this one has an easy open thing on it. Yay. So let's see how this works. Do we just... It smells like blueberries. There's not really any instructions or anything. I just rub it on my lip. I guess it just stays there until you wash it off. Right here, I'm gonna Do the lip scrub. I love a nice lip scrub. I make my own lip scrub with coconut oil, a little bit of sugar. Sometimes I'll use coffee. Sometimes I'll use peppermint. Um, what else did I use? I think that's 
pretty much it. Sometimes you can make it with a little cinnamon. I don't do that because cinnamon irritates me. Which is a shame because I do love cinnamon products. Okay, so this is the scrub. Oh yeah, that's the scrub. Nice little lip scrub. I bought the uh, the Lilo and Stitch Sugar Scrub, and it works nicely. I really like it. I'm almost out of it, and uh, we don't have it anymore. So I maybe I can get it on the website. Get the lip color back on. But anyway, so I know I've made kind of a mess here, um, but I just wanted to try everything out. So let's review. The palette is... Those first two rows, I didn't feel swatched that great on my arm. Uh, they looked great on my finger. And the ones I used on my eye, because I just did it on my eye to just show, you know, how pigmented they are and how easy they are to use. Um, Obviously, I didn't do it to make them look, look good. <laughs> uh, and the greens work great. Um, but the bottom row swatched beautifully. So, I don't know. It's up to you. I like that pink. Um, I think I should have used um, a, a, a cream primer on my eye, like a, maybe a white. Um, it just would have worked better, I think. Um, the complexion trios bronzers I liked I didn't really use them the way you use bronzers but I just wanted to see how they you know swatch and everything and, and they're great the highlighter I like that's what it's at the tip of my nose and the blushes are real pretty probably won't ever use the orange one but the pink one in the middle is very pretty um, I would definitely build it up a little bit more and the highlighter is what I have right here and I dab just a little bit under my eyes. I really like that highlighter and I wasn't feeling good about it because when I was rubbing my finger in it to swatch it, it didn't seem to be doing anything. Um, now the lipsticks, they're very nice. They feel nice on. I like the colors, but I can tell they're not going to be long last and they're just something if you want to wear those, you're just going to have to carry them with you and reapply it after eating or drinking. Um, but that's usually the case with me. Unless I'm using a matte lipstick, that's usually the case. And the Zembo sticks, always love these and will always love them, no matter what the packaging is. I think they're great. Um, obviously, that blue doesn't go with that green, but I just wanted to see how it works just to show you. And we did. And, and here, I'm also going to... Let me show you what I mean when you could use these for multiple things. Literally, why they're called multi-sticks is because you can use them multiple, multiple different ways. You can use this as an eyeshadow, and you can use this as a lip color. Now, I'm not going to wear blue lipstick, but I know there are some people that would, and they will look lovely with it. Um, and these browns would be great for the brow, eyeshadow, liner, um, even, let's try this Metallica, Metallica, metallic one. Just over here. Yeah, you can use that as a bronzer. You could use the browns as like for contouring and stuff. There's no reason you can't because they're cream based. They're not super heavy, so they're workable, see? Okay, that one's making me a liar. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate that a little bit. Um, sip. The scrub and mask, I don't know how they work, but on initial use, I liked them. So, 
overall, would I recommend this collection? I think so. The brush set was really nice looking. I have not used those brushes, but I have used Wet n Wild brushes many times in the past, and I do love them. I think they make a nice brush. So I would assume that the Sesame Street brush brushes are just as good. Um, the uh, they, there's like a little lunchbox shaped makeup case. Um, I think it's cute. If you're a Sesame Street collector, it's definitely something you would want. They have an Oscar the Grouch um, beauty blender with the, the garbage can. Super cute. If you can get that, because um, I went to Walmart, the one right across the street from me, and... There was one left and then I went there later that day to get something and it was gone. And then the other Walmart I went to today, um, there, there were none. There was, the entire collection was almost completely gone. Um, and they have glitter, they have eyelashes, um, they have lip glosses, which I didn't get because yeah, I don't like lip gloss that much to justify getting it. <laughs> um, I would recommend this collection because it's fun. If you like Wet n Wild, if you're a Sesame Street collector, definitely for sure. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I'm just kind of torn because I can see myself using the greens and the bottom row. Um, and that's a lot for a palette for me to use all those colors. So. And I think I'll definitely use it in creative looks I do and stuff. So I wouldn't say don't buy it. And then the, the trios, the complexion trios, I recommend both of these. So anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go play with my ducklings and uh, get ready for bed. Bye. Mm -hmm.